What's up, guys? This is Coach Victor Bell, the general founder of Warhorse Strength Camp and the Champion Development Academy, creator of the Champion Army, where I help male entrepreneurs get the edge in their business, bank accounts, their bodies, and their lives. You know, wanted to share something with you today. You know, my son is home, and we do a lot of wrestling. And it was something that he and I were talking about, and we were actually relating it to business. And I was telling him, everything you do on the mat is a direct correlation to everything that you're going to do in your life and your business. And here's why. I actually love wrestling. I love catch wrestling. I love jujitsu. I love MMA. Uh, I love boxing. I love one-on-one -on -one sports because in those sports, you must deal with opposition. And there's usually no question about who the winner is unless someone has less fortitude than the other one uh, and it comes to a draw. Um, so in those instances, it forces you to deal with the problem. And most guys at that instance typically don't like to deal with the problem. You know, sometimes... When you don't have the personal power or the fortitude to push through something, you tend to not want to deal with stuff. You tend to not want to face things head on. But let me tell you guys, it is much easier to deal with something that's in front of you than to deal with something that may never happen, to place other things in front of you like being in a team that protects you from the inevitable because at some times you're going to have to come from beyond that wall that you place in front of you and own that victory or own that loss and fucking deal with it. In your business, you must look at all the areas where you are not dealing with opposition, where you are not the forefront of, the, or at least the catalyst of all of your motions forward, pushing past. A lot of times, guys, we want to get other things in front of us, other things to block us and to protect us so that way we can defend ourselves. Yet at the same time, some of the ways that you're going to show up the biggest, best, badass, and the most strongest are to just deal with what's in front of you and say yay or nay when it's all said and done and go your separate ways. When you're on the mat wrestling, you can't run from your opponent. When you're in boxing, you can't run from your opponent. When you're in MMA or jiu-jitsu, you cannot run from your opponent. You must face that person head on, win or lose. Get your hand raised or not. Hand uh, raised or head held in shame or defeat. <laughs> in business, it's the same way. You win or you lose. You can go back and forth to mediation. You can call this meeting and that meeting, and everybody can want to push it off till next week, but that's not how it's done. That's not how you become successful in what you do. Keep your personal thought processes and integrity intact and deal with what's in front of you and don't be afraid. And let me tell you, homeboys, the only time you'll really be afraid is when you feel like you don't have the skills, when you feel like you don't have the strategies to overcome the challenges that's in front of you. And the only way to stop that, don't make promises your ass can't cash. Don't step into the ring with somebody that you know that you can't beat because you're going to be outclassed. Now, I'm not saying don't play. I'm not saying don't aim high. But just understand the resistance at that level is not designed to stop you. It's designed to show the other motherfucker that's standing across from you that you fucking belong there. And you're going to give him hell because you showed up to do it. Again, this is Coach Vic saying create, apply, inflict, panic, pressure, pain to stretch, grow, and get badass results. Hit us up. Go to championdevelopmentacademy.com. Let's talk, brothers. Let's do it. Wage war. No love.